This store has 4.8 stars, 4.8 stars, 4.8 stars on Google reviews. What exactly makes a top tier game store? Well, today we're gonna figure that out and some of the answers might surprise you. Our first stop of the day is going to be TF Games in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. This is one that we've definitely been to a few times before. I didn't realize that it was so highly rated, so let's check it out. I'll give you some first impressions on... Jeez. <laughs> give you some first impressions on the store, and then we'll ask the store owner, Rick, what he thinks makes his store reviewed so highly. So one thing that I notice immediately when I walk in the doors is all of these large stand-ups, arcades, claw machines. I think these are really fun to just have for not just like the environment, but for something else for people to do to entertain themselves when they come into a store. I think there's a lot to be said for like having a fun store experience when you go into a game store. Another big thing that you'll notice probably right off the bat with a lot of these is uh, the prices are all very clearly marked. And that was the single biggest thing. Let me actually read some of these reviews. Prices are definitely on point and current with the ever-changing game market. Prices were reasonable and in line with market values. And you can see that on any older game system, not only is the price very clearly visible and marked, but there's a lower membership price, similar to like a GameStop Pro membership, which is pretty cool. And I honestly don't see that a lot at like local or regional game stores. Okay, folks, I actually just spotted something up here that I didn't expect. We've got this huge Mario plush up here. I don't know if this is just a display item or if it's actually for sale. Some of you guys might know. I've actually been looking for more plushes for the basement. Might have to see if he actually has a price on this guy because that Mario is huge. What if I don't want to be in your game room? It seems really quality. It's like got uh, 72 on there. Might be coming home with a Mario today, folks. They also have a ton of video game related items like strategy guides, He-Man stuff, Pokemon Pez. Oh no. <laughs> Video game hats. They have Pokemon. Then honestly, probably my favorite part of the store, which is the glass cases here. In here, they have all their like retro stuff stacked up and also their high dollar games. We've got Amiibos, we've got GameCube, a ton of consoles and various high dollar games for different systems. I'm gonna do my best now to try to find some stuff to flip that works with my margins. We'll go and check out and get Rick's impression of what makes a top tier store and also see if he'll give us a discount on that Mario. So folks, we've got a small stack of inventory that we're going to be purchasing here, including a few really sweet game bags, Game Boy Advance, Xbox One, and then as you guys know, I'm a big handheld guy, so we've, this is probably the coolest thing that we're buying today. This Game Boy Advance has been reshelled and it has a backlit screen, so honestly, 116 on that is a really solid member price there. And then Rick, did you end up coming to a price on this bad boy right here who may or may not end up in my basement. Uh, $44. <laughs> $44. Very generous discount, so you will see this guy in the background of future videos. Oh, no! But, Rick, what in your mind is it that makes for a really top-tier game store in, like, one minute or less? Uh, probably, uh, selection. I mean, when you come in and you see you know, a lot of really great games mm -hmm. displayed correctly to where people can find what they're looking for. How clean the store is, I mean, I think that's a really important thing. Of course, price, you know, we're competitive with pretty much any video game store. We always look to see who's got the better price. We try to stay competitive in the market. Mm -hmm. And then being friendly to everybody, I mean, that's the main thing. When somebody comes in, if you could talk to them and say, hey, you know, can I help you find something? Yeah. Get to know them. I mean, most of the customers that shop with us, we really know them by name. So they can come in and we see them so much. And all of our locations, we try to do that. And we try to keep everything looking a certain way so that when you come to the store, it's just the same as going to any other store. Totally. Uh, and you can go and you can find the game that you're looking for. And that's that's really what makes it for us. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much again for having us out. We really appreciate it. That's the, that's the TF Games difference, folks. So folks, ended up spending over $500 in stop number one, coming away with Mario and this Game Boy Advance, which will be available on our next whatnot auction and by popular demand we are bringing back the ten dollar switch games that's right folks all of these gamestop switch games right here will be available for just ten dollars in the buy it now as we speak there is a limit of one per customer want to make sure that everyone can get one and they'll be available until wednesday the 8th because at that point we're going to have a whatnot live auction where all this stuff and all of these limited super rare switch games are going to get sold off 
And if you've never used Whatnot before, you get a $10 free credit. So you can get one of these Switch games for free right now by using the link in the description. Thanks a bunch to Whatnot for sponsoring this video and we'll see you guys there. So folks, stop number two, you'll probably recognize from other videos, it is the only local game store in my town. It's called Matt's Games and Collectibles, a little bit more of a variety game store, but has a lot of personality. So I'm excited to show it off to you guys. So as you can see, Matt's is definitely primarily a video game store, but it's got all kinds of stuff from like Legos to over here we've got Transformers, we've got TMNT stuff and like game guides over here. Check this out. Definitely the largest sock selection of any game store I've ever seen bar none. Look at this folks, look, I've literally never seen one of these. We've got the, what is this? Like the collector's version of NBA Baller Beats with the basketball. How many special editions have an actual basketball? Oh, Spanky likes that. Got tons of pops. Looks like some new uh, TMNT stuff coming in, if I may be a little bit snoopy there. And then, of course, the best part of the whole store, Matt himself. Matt, do you have any um, late have any uh, late Black Friday sales going on for us? Uh, it's no. February. The Black Friday sale. I don't really do any other sales throughout the year. My price, it's because I keep my prices fair. That's that, what I tell people. I, I have to say, I've been mine. I've been looking around, and there are definitely some solid uh, solid prices on the inventory. So we're gonna we're gonna do some poking around, see if there's a few things that we can find to buy and then we'll check back with you. Folks, this is one thing that I talked about in my Florida game store review video. I love when games are outward facing. You can see the cover art and the condition and the prices of every single thing on the shelf. I think that makes for a much better buying experience. And the fact that they have almost all of their consoles, it looks like Wii, GameCube, we got Xbox stuff over here, almost all outward facing, I think is absolutely the way to go. One thing folks that I'm actually looking for for the personal collection is The Last of Us, believe it or not. Actually, I'm sure you can believe it. Spanky's about to fall over right now. With the show being out, Erica and I really like to watch it given the reviews that it's getting, but I don't want to watch it until I've played the game and I am a little bit ashamed to admit this, but I have not played The Last of Us yet, folks. Please don't judge. But unfortunately, I'm not seeing it in this PS4 section. We may have to also take a peek at the last store. Remind me, if you will, at home, please remind me in the comments after this video is already out to look at that at the last store. And folks, you guys have been asking and I have heard your comments. It is high time for another Spanky Challenge. Hey yo. <laughs> Spencer, if you can find an underpriced game in 10 seconds, 10 you seconds. win any Switch game you want. Ready? It's too long. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, oh, no. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What is it? Oh. oh no. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's heat for 12, that's gotta be worth it. Do you want to redo? Three, do please. Three extra seconds. Three. What should I grab? Two. One. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Assassin's Creed for twenty dollars. Are you confident in that? No. All right, so we're looking for over $20 on price charting. It says 15 bucks. So sorry. <laughs> we'll give him another shot soon, don't tell him. I have to say, one thing that I'm seeing more and more of at video game stores is large plush sections. They must be like fairly profitable, fairly popular items or something like that. There's even, there's some huger ones over here that I normally see at game exchange. Honestly though, only suckers buy plushes, let's be honest. Coming away with Mario. So folks, we were just talking about The Last of Us with the show that just came out. Check this out, we've got a massive Last of Us part two Ellie statue with looks like the original box for the collector's edition up here. I just checked the price on eBay. He's got it priced at 90 and recently the price has come up to between 160 and $200. Matt, you're sleeping on this thing over here. You gotta increase that price. It's the dirty reseller way, folks. You didn't have any like loose PS3 controllers, did you? Okay, what did you have on those? Uh, the wireless Sony brands are 24. I think I will take I a couple of those actually. Do you have any interest in selling all of them? You want to keep some in stock? Uh, yeah, let me keep one. Okay, but I'll do Jay these three then. However many you want to keep. Just because of my hat. So folks, we're about ready to check out here for the kids at home. The other things that we got were one copy of Mario Golf, a Quest 64, and a couple of lovely GameCube controllers. Matt, 
in a minute or less as we're checking out here, what do you think it is that makes a top tier game store? Or put more indelicately, why do people like you so much? Uh, <laughs> I, was gonna say, I don't know anything about top tier game stores, obviously. I, I don't know. I think uh, just being uh, a local, locally owned store, yeah. locally operated, I'm here all the time. I can sell stuff a little bit cheaper than I can cut better deals than yeah. some of the chain stores. Prices can. are big. Right. I try to keep my prices low and you, you get to yakking with people and hearing their stories about you know this or that and yeah. I think that makes people come back um, I've had a lot of good really good like recommendations on on uh, Facebook and Google I've been here for three years and so many people still don't know that I'm here sure. um, but when people do they say you know my buddy told me come here instead of going to so and so I'm glad I did I, I see those people multiple times yeah so, stuff like that um, is really cool just try to be good to people they'll be good to you well there you have it folks it's the yakin it's the yakin the yakin will bring up your reviews <laughs> if you're struggling you gotta yak a little more <laughs> awesome I I appreciate it. Thanks so much, man. It's been great. Absolutely. Thank you. Good kitty. Folks, our third stop of the day is Player One Gaming. We are here, you can see if you look out this way, in rural South Central Kentucky. This is easily the most unassuming game store of the whole video because as you can see, it's more or less somebody's back shed. Alan, the owner of this store, is a guy that I've done business with multiple times on this channel and I love coming out here because of how unassuming his game store is, but how charming it is on the inside. By the way, folks, I did want to say, none of the game stores in this video sponsored it in any way. I do sound a little bit gushy, a little advertisey at times when I'm talking about them, but that's just because I believe so deeply that we small businesses in an era of GameStops and Best Buys really need to stick together. But let's head inside and see what we can see. Ready? Smile, you're on. <laughs> Actually, joke's on them. I love the attention. Thank you. Going, Good. How are What's you? Up, Good guys? to see you guys, folks. This is uh, Alan and Josh, the hey, owners and operators of this fine store. One of the first things that you'll notice is the organization. I think in a space like this, that's one of the most important things. You've got toys on this side. Looks like, I don't know if these were here last time I was ah. here. So a bunch of gamer magazines, which is super fun. Oh, dang. That's something I've never seen before. Sheikah Eye Protection Light. That's super cool. On over here, it looks like we've got a ton of like more modern games. PS4. I think those have moved actually since last time yeah. I was here. Maybe they we used to be over here. Around. I like it. They're reorganizing actively. We've got Xbox One stuff, 360. We've got tons of Funko Pop stuff over here. Some guides and looks like what could this be? Yeah, some comic books. You guys know I love seeing a whole bunch of variety of different kinds of like pop culture collectibles in video game stores. So that's super cool. We've got not one but but two arcade one-up machines. Are these for sale? Yep. So three, 325 and 150 on these bad boys. Honestly, a pretty solid deal. Also back over here, tons of figures and consoles. And just overall, look at this. Like everywhere you look, there's just different collectibles stashed away that you can dig through. That's honestly kind of a fun part as well. You can also see they're definitely taking advantage of literally all the available space. You've got large shelves that go exactly floor to ceiling and even large collectibles like these that are a little bit higher dollar, they're still able to display. Got stuff facing front, love to see that. Another thing that I notice is just some super unique items that you're not likely to find at like a GameStop or a Best Buy like this. Sealed vintage hip gear. It looks like this is a, is this a controller? attachment oh my gosh for for your original xbox i literally i was using something like this for my switch the other day and i was like this is like from the space age but apparently not it's from like the mid 90s oh folks i love it when game stores do this they've got a ton of manuals and cover arts just like loose in these bins back here to potentially complete like some of the games that you already have oh look at this even a bunch of like playstation and nintendo ds manuals which are likely kind of hard to find but having these out and available for purchase is super cool. Ooh, folks, I just spotted another thing that we will probably take a look at when we do a little bit of purchasing is the Amiibo section back here. You guys know these are something that does really well for me on Amazon. Another thing that I love about small local video game stores is they get it. Like sometimes people will ask me, hey, you're coming into, the, into these stores and talking about like make money and flipping their inventory. Doesn't that like kind of irk people? And the reality is, yeah, they hate me, but it's free advertisement. We're all playing the same game. 
and like I would never twist anyone's arm or make them feel obligated to sell me something. And usually if they know I'm making money, they're like, hey, good for you, win-win. But look at this, they've got multiple Fire Emblem series Amiibos, which yeah, you can see these often tend to get pretty expensive because they're a little bit harder to find than like the Smash Bros or Animal Crossing. All right, folks, I think it's high time for a little spanky redemption. Spencer, you see the Switch section up there? Oh, yeah. If you can find an underpriced Switch game in 10 seconds, I'll buy it for you. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, interesting choice. We've got Party Arcade for $14. Do you want to change your answer? You get one substitution. Yeah, I'll go He's that. switching it out, okay. <laughs> Mario 3D All-Stars for $55. All right, so if price charting says more than $55, you get it. And it says $55.75. <laughs> He's done it, congratulations. A steal, 75 cents cheaper. <laughs> All right, well, this is officially the first game on our stack then, congratulations. It's me. Spanky. Well, folks, I'm going to get to work and start looking for some games that will actually make some money. And then we'll talk to Alan and get his perspective on why this store is so highly rated. Okay, this is one that I'll have to drop in the Discord. Uh, Puss in Boots, believe it or not, because of the recent movie that came out. 15 bucks on that. Looks like it's a little bit spiked on Amazon, and honestly, I would guess it'll go for more than that because there aren't very many listings and none fulfilled by Amazon. Definitely stay up to date on the movies that are releasing because oftentimes there will be a correspondence to the video game prices. All right, so folks, we've got a pretty solid little stack that is accumulating here. We got a plush, we got a couple games and some Amiibos, but as you know, I'm a big handheld guy, so I am curious. Could I take a look at some of the SPs down there? I saw, got some solid prices on those already. The blue one is the one that I had as a kid. This one's super nostalgic, really good condition on that. I think these are in really nice shape. I think I'll go ahead and add these to the stack as well. And tell me about these plushes. So these plushes, we actually come across um, at a pond. A store. pawn shop? Really? Yeah. They had boxes of these, brand new, sealed, and they actually came from GameStop. That, yeah, I recognize them. They, yeah. they do seem like GameStop <laughs> and so, plushes. Man, we bought like six, seven boxes. Did you really? Yeah, this is the last box that we've got. So what were you asking on these? Uh, we get 10 a piece on them. Okay. I think that our whatnot crowd will like that, so we'll go ahead and put that on the stack as well. I appreciate Beautiful. that. So if Beautiful. you had to say, in your own words, in a minute or less, what do you think makes your game store so highly rated? I think because, I think a lot of our prices yeah. from what people say, just going by what people, mm -hmm. yeah, there may be a few things in here that may be a little bit more than, you know, most people, but we always try to work with them. Right. That's why I always tell them, you know, if you see something that you think's lower, let us know. We we work with you. We, okay, so this is the kind of store that's open to mm -hmm. negotiation a oh, little yeah. bit more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we ain't scared. We don't get mad, and we hope our customers don't get mad. And, yeah. And then a lot of the uh, retro stuff. Uh, I think the retro stuff is another thing. And yeah. we've got a lot of people that like the retro stuff. Kids, kids seem to love it they call this their game store yeah okay you so know? so you you think about like kids coming in mm -hmm. here and having fun when you're designing oh, yeah okay. and then and then like i said i think i told you once before is like you know we got dads that come in with their kids and we watch the dads almost become like their little friend <laughs> that's how you know that's how cool it gets that's precious you know they just try to kind of turn into a kid and, and then they'll be over here in the retro stuff showing their kids and yeah then the kids will be over here showing the you know the ps4s and you know and it just it's like watching two little kids you know, just have fun. That's so great. Yeah. Well, yeah, folks, Player One Gaming and Russell Springs, definitely stop by if you're in the area. Thank yeah. you so much. This yeah. really means a lot. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Love coming out. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, check out this one right here where I went to the best and worst video game stores in Florida, and we will catch you guys on the, on the flip. flip.